Hey, um, welcome to the first ever tutorial for 666 guides. Um, it's going to be a pretty simple tutorial, quite quick. Um, we're going to be modeling a, um, well, this, pretty much. We're going to be modeling this in 3ds Max 2008. It's not going to be, be um, hard to model because it's not very detailed. But it should give you a, a, a basic understanding of how the tools work and how things work in 3ds Max. So let's get on with it. The first thing I'm going to do is model this top part. It will just be a basic cube with chamfered edges. Then I'll duplicate that and and then do the cylinders for the legs. So let's get on with it. Um, so I'll, I'll click box go to the top view and just draw out a rough shape of what I think would be fine oh I should actually yeah that actually looks a bit too thick so I'll just put that down that should be fine Actually it went to minus, so I'll make sure it's a positive number and not a, a negative number. So that looks fine. So now, um, actually it looks a bit too long, so I'll just yeah that looks about, about right. Let's see. Mm, still a bit too long. That'll be fine. Now I'll convert it to an editable poly, and then grab these edges, all of the corner ones, holding Control and click, so I can grab multiple edges. And then I'll just zoom in so I can see what I'm actually doing and I'll chamfer. And I'll do it about five with about ten segments. That should be fine. Now what I'm going to do is grab the polygon tool, select everything, and go down to smoothing groups. I'll clear all and then do auto smoothing. So now it gives a nice smooth edge, whereas it would have given something like that. So that looks fine. I'll just center it up. And then I will duplicate it underneath, just click in, holding shift and drag. Yep, that looks about right. And then I'll grab the cylinder tool, go to the top view, if my mouse works, go to the top view, this corner, and just drag out a cylinder. Do the radius to about three, and I'll sort the height out in a moment. We don't need any height segments, and we don't need any cap segments. Eighteen sides will be fine. I'll just pull this down, and then I can bump up the height to I'd say about forty-six. And that looks about oh no the bottom part needs to be a lot longer. That would be alright. So about sixty eight. I mean fifth fifty eight, yeah. That's sixty eight. Oh nope. Fifty nine. Sixty. Sixty 
61. Yeah, 61 looks fine. Now I'm going to see if it's in roughly the right place. Say about there. And I'll just hold shift and drag it to the other side. And then hold control, click that. Hold shift and drag that to the other side. And that's pretty much it. I'll just move it up so it's on the grid. Yep, that's pretty much it. There you go. Basic table. Um, I hope you learned something. And I hope you enjoyed it. Keep checking back on the blog for more um, video tutorials. Um, maybe I'll do another one on how to render this so you can get the nice shiny black effect and the chrome um, legs. But yeah, keep checking back, there'll be more tutorials, we're going to keep updating it with newer tutorials and um, more detailed models and stuff like that. So yeah, thanks.